Hi, this is Gary Davis, and in this quick uh, video, I want to show a little bit about the setup of Autodesk Composite. If you go to uh, Google and just do Autodesk Exchange Store, you're going to get taken to the uh, Apps Exchange. And if you select a store, I'm going to go into 3ds Max. And under Utilities here, you can now see that with the 2015 release, we're giving away Autodesk Composite and Autodesk Match Mover. Now, this one is specific. Uh, this video is specific to Composite, and I already went ahead and installed it. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the setup for this. So this is not going to be an artistic, uh, you know, how to do compositing or anything like that. This is just about the setup. So I already installed this, and one of the things that's really important about the installation of Composite is the way that it caches to disk. Uh, it's a very important way. Instead of something like back in the day when we had combustion using RAM caching, uh, Composite, or it used to be called Toxic, you might remember, uh, Autodesk Composite caches to disk. So this is going to be a really critical, and I've installed a free utility here that you can get. Um, on the AJA website, you can see I'm over here on AJA.com, and if you scroll down, there's a... Uh, system test and you can get this for Mac or Windows and I've already got that installed up here and what this allows you to do is look at different video formats and things so if I say I'm going to do 1280 by 728 bit and I do a test on my M drive and this particular uh, computer here if I uh, close all this up you can see that I've got three local hard drives this is an SSD drive this M drive is a um, uh, just a USB external USB 3 and this IOFX I'll talk about in a second and I just want to show you the fundamental differences between these I already ran the test on my M drive and you can see that I'm reading and writing at about 70 megabytes per second which isn't bad but uh, you know it's gonna be dependent on what you're doing uh, and what type of video formats also um, if I run this on my C drive and go ahead and hit start you can see that we're getting much better performance off of an SSD drive so 300 read and about 400 right so that's pretty good um, however if you look at my fusion io uh, io effects and i go ahead and start this you can see that the numbers are just amazingly fast and this is going to be the drive that i want to set this up on uh, for obvious reasons so what we're doing is using this io effects card this is a ram caching card it's basically no moving parts except for maybe the fan right there but it's basically a, a hard drive nas or sorry a uh, raid uh, based on RAM technology. So you're going to get these amazing read and write speeds with this that allow you to do some pretty incredible uh, results. In this graphic, you can see I used the, another uh, free device, uh, free utility from Blackmagic that, to show different file formats, or sorry, not file formats, but video formats. And you can see, will it work and how fast does it need to read? And in the case of the Fusion IO, reading at 600 and writing at 1200 or 1300, you can see that every, uh, file, you know, every format, 10-bit, PAL, NTSC, all the way on up to 2K, uh, with the exception of this one right here, 1080p at 60 frames per second at 12-bit. So pretty much with the Fusion I.O., you're going to be able to read and write using Autodesk Composite in real time, full floating point, uncompressed. It's, it's pretty incredible. So I highly recommend using this. And so what I've done, again, I'll go into Composite here. I've installed the application, and there's one thing that you want to really do to set this up. What you want to do is find your fastest disk for caching. And under System Preferences, you're going to get this dialog right here that says... Um, where is your media cache? And I've already set this up, so you can just go browse and you know find a place on your uh, hard disk. What I've done is I've set up a media cache on my Fusion I/O drive that's called Media Cache, and then inside of Media Cache, you can see I cache all my different applications to the Fusion card. So I'm caching my Max, 3ds Max Hair, Particle Flow, Point Caches, uh, the Adobe products, and then these two directories right here, Index and Store, is what Autodesk Composite uses. Uh, one little tip and trick here, uh, sidebar note is. If uh, Composite is ever acting weird or you were going to do like a full reinstall, instead of doing a reinstall, you can just delete these two directories. This is where everything uh, gets cached and it's, um, you know, uncompressed caching. If you delete these two directories, uh, they'll just get rebuilt upon startup. But I want to go ahead and cache uh, to the media cache and then I can set this up to say how big of a media cache do I want or what percentage of the hard drive. And once I've done that, I'm really ready to go. Um, this is how you would want to work with Autodesk Composite. Definitely want to be caching to your uh, fastest drive locally. You know, you can work off the network and get assets and work off the network, but caching locally to your fastest drive is definitely going to be the way to go. And that's it for the setup of Autodesk Composite. Now that it's free, I encourage you to all go check it out, and I'll be getting to more videos on the artistic side of things uh, in weeks to come, but this is just to get, thing, get people started and using it correctly from the get-go with the fastest drive possible. And again, just uh, if you want to go check out the uh, 
Fusion IO effects, this thing is a dream come true. This allows you to work in full 2K float, you know, the whole shebang. So that's uh, it for me. Thanks very much for listening.